Don't get caught by surprise when the smoke gets in your eyes. This is Survival Hunt. Imagine this scenario. You're up camping in the smoky mountains, enjoying an evening among the fall foliage while honking on your harmonica. Once your campfire burns down, you head off for a good night's sleep in the tent. But while you're off dancing through dreamland, outside, a breeze kicks up, stirring the embers from your fire and sending a burning piece of ash up into the air. It lands on a pile of freshly folded dry leaves, causing them to spark up into a massive blaze. And suddenly, you're hot potato in the middle of a situation forest fire. But fear not, Grizzly. If you're looking to avoid a cooking, Grizzly Grizzly is here to keep you in the clear and show you how to stop a forest fire from happening. As always, preparation is key before you go off into the great outdoors. So you'll need to go ahead and grab a shovel to make this hack happen. Now, you're ready to hit the campsite and cook up some weenies with mustard. But now, before you hit the hay, it's time to take a stand for the forest and protect it from a frugal blaze by putting your fire out the right way. Here's the game plan. Step one, douse it with water. Make sure them smoldering logs are more drenched than a monkey in a monsoon. And here's a pro tip. Make sure to let the fire burn down by itself before you add water. If you try to douse it while it's still a towering inferno, your life will just cause a whole mess of smoking sports. Once you're done giving those burning embers a bath, whip out your shovel and get ready for step two. Mix up the embers by stirring them with the shovel. This will allow you to uncover any hot embers you missed with the water the first time around. Now, you're ready to put this fire away for good. But first, is it getting hot in here, or is it just time for Grizzly Griddles? Riddle in the middle. Here's today's Red Hot Riddle. Hit him. What type of plant is always safe from a forest fire? I've got the answer to that one at the end of the episode. Now, let's get back into the hacking. So you've got your shovel out, and it's time to keep the forest safe by finishing off the fire with strep three. Smother the embers with dirt, but don't bury them. This way, you're sure to coat every little inch of those potential fire starters with water and wet dirt that will keep them out for good. And you don't want to completely bury the embers because there's a small chance that packing them together underground might actually cause the fire to reignite. And while the odds of that are low, you still don't want to run the risk when the result could be a ferocious forest fire. So play it safe, play it smart, and mix that fire into the dirt like you're stirring a big pot of Mama Griddle's extra hot baked stew. And finally, step four. Double check to make sure the fire is completely out by putting your hand next to one of the embers. If you still feel heat coming off of it, it's still a fire hazard. So repeat the whole process of dousing, mixing, adding dirt, and mixing again until the whole thing's as cool as a cucumber in an ice cube. Now, you're ready to enjoy a good night's sleep. Safe in the knowledge that you won't be getting a wake-up call from a burning bird tree. Now, just in case that all went up in smoke, here's a piping hot recap. When it's time to put out a fire, let it burn down naturally. Then, drench it with water. Stir the embers all together, add a shovel full of dirt, and mix again. Finally, check to make sure it's all out cold. And if it's not, repeat the process until it is. Now go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back for keeping the wood safe and stopping a forest fire before it even began. And now, cause I know it's burning you up inside, here's the answer to Grizzly Griddles, Riddle in the middle. What type of plant is always safe from a forest fire? Seaweed. Heh, <laughs> made you think on that one. Thanks again for stopping by another episode of Survival Hanks. Give that like button a swift strike in the throat if you want to see more. And be sure to subscribe down below to make yourself an official member of Team Grizz. Plus, you can always drop me a line in the comment section if you've got a suggestion for the next situation you want me to tank, tame, and teach you all about. And remember, real survivors don't go looking for danger. So don't do nothing with fire unless you've got adult supervision. Until next time, this has been your firefighting, habanero biting, quiet nighting, twin prop airplane sky riding, UFO sighting, barbecue party inviting, host man of the Riverlands, Grizzly Griddles, over and out.